bring a whole uh, another level of uh, simplicity and uh, manufacturing improvements with Cybertruck uh, and future products that we're our team continues to focus on Cybertruck production readiness um, and some future platform design. Uh, we are expecting to be uh, still, still expecting to be in production with the Cybertruck in the middle of next year. Electric car fans around the world are eagerly looking forward to a series of Cybertrucks rolling out from the Giga Texas factory and onto the road. Most recently, during the second quarterly earnings report, Elon Musk confirmed the Cybertruck production rate. A source reveals that the output of Cybertruck next year is around 10,000 vehicles per week. But this still raises the question of whether or not this expected output will become reality. Let's find the answer together in today's episode of TCW. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started on today's content. Analysts predict that Giga Texas may reach 10,000 Cybertrucks per week from the third quarter of 2023. This could mean that the output of Cybertruck per year could be up to around 520,000 vehicles, which makes the total revenue from Cybertruck sales nearly $40 billion. There are a lot of signs that Tesla is setting the stage for the all-electric pickup trucks production. A source reported that new systems for the production of Cybertruck drives had been ordered from German manufacturers. These manufacturers are reportedly familiar with Tesla's vehicles and facilities as they have also supplied components and machinery to Giga Berlin and Giga Shanghai. The needed machines for the Cybertruck are reportedly being built and are expected to be deployed at Gigafactory Texas around early July of 2023. The device is reportedly capable of producing over 900,000 drives per year, which aligns somewhat with Elon Musk's previous estimates for the Cybertruck. The Tesla CEO had mentioned that the company may initially target an annual production rate of over half a million Cybertrucks per year. IDRA, the company that produces the huge die-casting machines for Tesla, recently announced its 9,000-ton Gigapress, which then Elon Musk confirmed on Twitter that the 9,000-ton model would be used for the Cybertruck's body. Giga Texas's initial phases have also been completed, such as this factory already has one 8,000-ton Gigapress model, which suggests that it will likely not take too long to set up the Cybertruck's production line in the facility. And according to some sources close to Tesla, in the near future, the company plans to order five more Gigapresses from IDRA to produce Cybertruck. Tesla also shared a video of its Gigapress in action on Instagram with the caption, We like big castings and we cannot lie. That's funny. Although this video just shows Gigapress creating a giant single rear body piece casting for the Model Y, it's similar to how the 9,000 ton model will work for the Cybertruck. And during Tesla's second quarter of 2022 earnings report, Elon Musk spoke of the advancements Tesla has made in the manufacturing processes at the Giga Texas factory. He added, So we've made a lot of advancements in manufacturing processes. Um, as we now show in the shareholder deck, uh, thanks to our uh, the largest castings, we, we make the world's largest castings. Uh, we reduced body welding robot count by 70% per unit of capacity in uh, Austin and Berlin. Uh, so that's, um, you know, we, we call it roughly uh, a body shop that is th roughly three times smaller than what would, would normally be the case. And I could say it's also lighter, cheaper, and has superior noise vibration harshness, so it's good on every level, but this journey is not over. Not only that, Tesla also seems to be working extremely hard in ramping up its 4680 cell production, which will be key to keeping the Cybertruck cost-effective and innovative. Tesla has unveiled some footage of its next-generation 4680 battery cells being produced. The video of their 4680 battery production line shows that the company's level of automation has reached that which has never been seen before. Unlike traditional battery manufacturing facilities, this battery production line at Tesla is largely absent of workers. Instead, they have robots that will perform all the work necessary. This helps Tesla increase battery production capacity by up to 400%. Meanwhile, Giga Texas will also use the 4680 batteries for Cybertruck 
so that as it increases the 4680 battery production, it also helps the output of Cybertruck rise. In a battery assembly line, a robot can grab and press in all battery cells at once, probably using resin for bonding to the honeycomb. Then, make the circuit connections automatically. The same machine can potentially do this for any pack size by grabbing a different number of rows or columns of cells. On top of that, Tesla will invest $8 billion in Gigafactories, including Giga Texas, to scale up production and develop new products. According to several sources, a part of the $8 billion will be allocated for the factory in Austin, Texas to buy equipment such as Gigapresses, which cost a pretty penny if I do say so myself. Tesla expects capital expenditures to be between $6 billion and $8 billion in 2022, and over the next two fiscal years, a U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, filing showed. This reflects an increase of $1 billion up from 5 to 7 billion in the previous plan. According to the statement, the company is working on new products, developing new battery cell technologies, and increasing production on the three continents where its gigafactories are located, which requires increased capital investment. Regardless of the plan, costs may vary. The company warned that capital spending could be affected by global market uncertainty. In addition, Tesla also points to rising material and supply chain prices as well as labor costs as a likely increased cost level. Previously, Tesla already invested over $1 billion in this factory. Particularly, they spent $493 million for general assembly, $126 million for paint, $109 million for casting, and $150 million for stamping. Moreover, Elon Musk said that Tesla plans to invest over $10 billion in Gigafactory Texas. Next, another important factor that helps to ramp up Cybertruck capacity is Tesla's humanoid robot, the Tesla Bot. Elon Musk announced that Tesla might have a working prototype of the Tesla Bot, also known as Optimus, Tesla's humanoid robot, by September 30th, the end of the third quarter of 2022. At that time, Giga Texas will also start to mass-produce Cybertruck. The Tesla bot will be a great asset in the production of Cybertruck at the Giga Texas factory by replacing workers to perform manual jobs. And that's it for me. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel, Tesla Car World. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell us what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much from all of us here. We hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.